it really does hurt to to lose these these friends and um yeah the the time we spend with them is so precious the epitome of how you would imagine a lion to be so regal uh, so king-like you know and you think about a lion being the king of beasts siam certainly uh, he certainly represented that well i think Hey guys, um, so I'm here with Eka and Naobi and uh, yeah, today is a, is a poignant and um, important video. It's a tribute video to the one and only Siam, uh, the catnip king, who we lost unfortunately a few weeks back and I thought, I thought it's pertinent. We do a tribute video to to uh, Syme, who was just such an extraordinary animal. Um, I know the guys out there, or you guys who followed Siam would, um, would know about his gentle nature, about the fact that Siam, Siam never ever put a foot wrong. He was just such a, a cool, collected, um, and, and in control cat. Um, don't have a bad word to, to, to say about him. So yeah, we, we decided to put this uh, tribute video together and uh, in memory, in loving memory of, of, um, of our dear friend. I'm not even gonna say lion because he was, he was absolutely a friend to me. And um, yeah, I just ran out of words to describe that, that lion. He was just an incredible cat. So. Hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah, please do comment below and uh, like and share and enjoy. Enjoy celebrating the life of Siam, Siam the, the catnip king. <laughs> Although it pains me to, to, to make this introduction, I think uh, the video is going to bring uh, back a few laughs and smiles and that's the way that's the way we want to remember him, hey, Nobi? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cha, 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 cha. Yes, I guess. Hey, wild spring. I've never seen him like this. It's the weather, my boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Simon. Simon's batteries are charged. You would not say that this line is 18 years of age. <laughs> there he goes. I can't keep up. Siam is also called the catnip king. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he loves it to bits. <laughs> hey boy. Catnip. Catnip King. Catnip King. Yeah, he's a my boy. So the Catnip King absolutely loves his catnip. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, no health issues for this boy throughout his life. Coming up 18 years of age, if you saw this line in the wild, you would say that he was in his prime. Look at him. His mane is still amazing. His teeth are still in great condition. Uh, he's got no real excess body weight. He's in good nick. You see in the lines next door, Bobcat and Gabby. And the six. Doors group. <laughs> and he's just focused, locked in. This is the thing about Siam when he locks in on something you are not going to change his mind it's one thing i can say about Simon. he has this really stubborn uh, mindset i like it i like his stubbornness it kind of reminds me of myself what they like to do is they like to go on a nice walk and then they like to come and say hello to all their neighbors so there's bobcat and gabby 
And there's Thori and Charlie, Indy, Lola, Jab Jabari, and Nej. There's George. And there's Siam. And there's Nobi. And I think Echo is sleeping under the tree. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He was just such a good leader to these two ladies. Ekonobi and I, I sit here and I wonder you know what their their thoughts are um, and are they missing him and you know always it's just a human thing uh, but it really does hurt to to lose these these friends and um, yeah the the time we spend with them is so precious. Uh, he's lived most of his life with uh Echo and Niobe and when Ishka was still around with Ishka and he had a a buddy, um, his name was Rafiki, and unfortunately, uh, last year we, we lost Rafiki and and old uh, Ishka. He's even tempered and he's calm, he's cool and collected. Uh, that's I am. And that is what I was trying to, <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to demonstrate with this guy. This guy is Siam, the pheromone boy. <laughs> and he's demonstrating this perfectly. So what this lion absolutely goes crazy for is smells. And so he is the one and only lion that reacts like this to different smells. I mean, this is a worry bush and he is absolutely getting that smell all over him. But it is because of the fact that I gave him a little bit of the catnip and he, uh, you've seen it before maybe in other videos that I've done where he slobbers like a dog um, all over your hand once he smells catnip. And uh, he, he goes absolutely nuts for catnip. So this guy is a lion that is just his nose is in tune to smells. I have not seen or met another lion in the sanctuary that is more um, is switched on when it comes to smells. And you can see here he's demonstrating that again. So Mr. Mr. Loverboy, he is um, so in tune with, with those, those scents. He was a, a brilliant leader within this pride. He was a, a humble cat, if I could use that word. He just, he didn't have an attitude about him. He was just very um, calm, collected, but authoritative. I mean, Siam didn't, he wasn't a pushover. And uh, that's what I loved about him. It's just, he was uh, the epitome of how you would imagine a lion to be, so regal. Uh, so king-like, you know, and you think about a lion being the king of beasts, Siam certainly, uh, he certainly represented that well, I think. And so, yeah, it's sad, it's sad to, to watch this video, but uh, in the same breath, it's also, it's also wonderful to see what a, what a happy and fulfilled life Siam had here at the, the sanctuary. the Sphinx. What's interesting about Siam is the fact that he doesn't just jump in the deep end. He actually thinks about things. Uh, that's what I love about him. So besides being a catnip addict, he's also quite a cautious cat, which is, yeah, um, I suppose the the phrase curiosity killed the cat doesn't apply to Siam because he's a little bit smarter than that. Um, so Siam, passive, even tempered, smart, and a catnip addict. What a cat. Mm -hmm.